I hate failing. I hate failing so much that it scares me the heck out to fail. I just want to be loved. I just want to be loved. I want to be with people that love me genuinely. That is where I am right now. My mental space wants to be with people that love me. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Funto. I'm in Nigeria and living and studying in Moscow, Russia. If this is your first time on my YouTube channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, you know how we do it. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for always watching, sharing, liking, and commenting on my YouTube channel and on my videos. It means a lot to me and I'm really grateful. Today's video is just giving like a life update not really like a life update just chit chatting with you guys on what i've been on what i've been up to what is really going on and the last video i made about myself was when i said i was tired of being sick and all of that but just this is just like a chit chat and a life update this video isn't going to come up later than it should this video is not going to come up on sunday 5 p.m it might come up later on sunday evening or maybe monday i don't know but let's see how it goes. This video shall come up this week. Like this new week that is coming up. This is like October, right? And I'm happy. I'm happy it's October because I'm going to Nigeria next month. I'm gonna be going to Nigeria next month and I'm super happy. It's been three years that I've been in Russia and I really miss my family. I miss a lot has happened in the space of three years, especially in this year alone. It's been life like I don't know if life changing is going to be the word I'm going to use, but it's been a lot of ups and downs for me and my family, like immediate family. But in all, as believers, our trust is in God and I trust God. And everything is going on well right now, but I'm still trusting God for perfection of whatever He has started. But for me as an individual, I'm just going through life phases and I'm like, really, there's really no point coming to act all bubbly or happy on YouTube. There's really no point because I think this is where I like come up, come out and I like, show like the emotional part of being funto, of being me. I'm really not in the right frame of mind. I'm really not in the space I want to be. I'm tired. I'm confused i'm worried i'm scared what am i scared of i really do not know but just a whole lot of emotions here and there right i'm just tired really i'm very tired right now a part of me wants to stop working where i work but i can't afford to stop working because that's just where i had my daily 2k that's why i'm using to sustain myself it's tiring for me to be commuting two hours, 36 minutes every day to and fro. Like I lead, which means I literally spend five hours of my day on the road going to work. It's draining. I leave my house as early as six, able to get to work before nine. Sometimes, like in the last two weeks, I've been getting to work late. Even if I leave around 6.30, I still get to work late. And I'm just like, to what end, really? To what end is all of this? right now i'm sick um not sick 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 but i'm having terrible migraine and when you have to combine work school your personal life which is your content creation and the ministry together you tend to get overwhelmed and that is i think that's the way i am right now i am overwhelmed i am tired i'm trying to publish articles i'm not able to publish my articles because one thing is happening one thing is happening but in all of this, I'm genuinely grateful for my grandma because she's been very supportive. I'm grateful for my siblings. I'm grateful for these people. And you know, recently I was telling someone that as much as I don't talk to my best and close friends every day, I don't know if that is what I want right now. I'm not trying to be selfish. I'm just saying I do not know if that is what I want right now. I want my friends to be there for me right now. I want them, like, I want to, like, call them every day, talk to them about what is really going on in my life. But they have their life as well. They are busy as well. 
I don't want to be selfish. I don't want them. I don't want. I don't want to get to keep these people to myself. They have their personal lives. They have their relationships, and here I am, single to stupor, trying to figure out your life. And I'm just tired. I'm just literally filming this video to talk about the fact that I am tired. I want to quit working nine to six. I want to work remotely. I want to have an autonomy over my life, over my time. And not working for some people that at the end of the day, they don't care if you're sick. They don't care if you're tired. All they know is you show up at work. Because if you don't show up at work, you don't get paid. And that will disrupt a lot of things at the end of the day. Then I'm doing my PhD. The struggle of trying to meet up so that you'll be able to graduate when you're supposed to graduate. And I think this is also because you have people that act like they support you in this journey, but they really do not give two oots about you. And when you fail, they'll be the first person or first set of people to laugh at you, to point fingers, to be like, and we said it. I think that is what I fear most in my life. I hate failing. I know failing is not, you can't, you can't avoid failing, but I do not like it. I hate it with all, with every single fiber that I have in me. I hate failing and it scares me a lot when I feel like, oh, I'm not doing enough. And I'm in my second year. I'm supposed to be graduating in the next one year, but and I'm just like, what have you done to show that you are actually a PhD student? And you have friends that are in this field as well. They are publishing articles, traveling, attending conferences. And here you are asking yourself, what are you really doing with your life? What are you showing? What, what are you doing right now to prove that you're a PhD student? Aside from the fact that you just tell people that you're a PhD student. And ministry... I think it's stressful being, I don't know how to put this, but being at the center of God's will for your life is very important. But doing that in a country like Russia would test every single patience you have in you. And that is where I am right now. I want to say, I don't want to do this anymore. But then you know that you don't have a choice than to obey God. Do you understand? I want to say, I am tired. But you, you, you can't say that because you do not have a choice than to be at the center of God's plan for your life. But really, I am tired. I don't have people to support the work I'm doing here. When you keep begging people, when you keep pushing people to attend church, to attend service, it's not interesting. It's not something I love doing. I don't want to cajole you to serve God. I do not want to cajole you to serve God, to be honest. But in all of this, I am happy that I'm going to Nigeria in November. I think I just want to see my grandmom and my great grandmom. Hug them so tight. Cry or decry. I've not cried in three years. Sleep on my grandmom's laps. I that's just what I want to do right now. I want to rest my head on my great grandmom's lap when she's weaving my hair. I just want that warmth again. As much as I'm growing, I'm someone's child. I'm someone's grandchild. I'm someone's great grandchild. I want my family. I am happy I'm going home. I will see my older sister. I will see my younger sister again. I think that is the only thing that is holding me together right now. That Funto, in exactly four weeks, some days from now, you'll be seeing your family. That is all I want. That is all I want right now. And that is what is holding me together. This video is an emotional one because this is where I am right now. And I just felt like I need to come and talk to you guys about it. I am a very strong person. I perceive myself to be very strong. But I don't want to be forming all oh, almighty strong girl, almighty bubbly girl. No, I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to be vulnerable. Honestly... I can't wait to be in Celebration Church in November. I want to be around my family. I want to be around my church community members. I want to be around people that genuinely love me. And that is where I am right now. Maybe when I go to Nigeria and I come back in December, I'll probably get myself up together. 
But pending that time, I'll still keep creating content. I'll still keep going to work. I'll still keep pushing. I'll still keep being the happy person that I am. Right? In all things, I'm still grateful to God because a lot of people want this opportunity that I have right now. I remember jumping up on a call with a family member and she said something to me. And I'm like, I don't have your time. And I will respect you because you're older than me. That was what I was saying in my mind. Because people think you're not trying. They think you're not trying your best. But again, your best cannot be enough for people. Anyways, I'm just going to say that I'm at a point where I am tired. And I just want to see my family, hug them. I'm a good again. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, share, comment, and, and turn on your post notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Bye, guys.